the technology that's being used together with uh, gang stalking, um, it's electronic harassment, which simply means that you're carrying out an attack remotely. Um, you don't have to be close to the victim. You don't have to be sort of touching them or doing anything. Um, and also it leaves the victim in a position where they've got no privacy, um, and but while they're suffering a lot of pain. And um, this could be seen as the best weapon ever. I mean, the victim doesn't have any kind of chance of survival. Um, if you can think of attacking the victim 24 hours a day, and um, wherever the guy runs to, wherever the victim tries to run or you know, try to run for safety, you still have him on the radar or via GPS. Um, so this is the most effective weapon ever, where you are attacking the person, um, no chance of survival, no chance of defending themselves. Um, there are three parts to electronic harassment. There's uh, what is called uh, voice to skull, and then there's remote neural monitoring, and then there's directed energy weapons. So these are the most common terms um, that most sort of targeted individuals or victims will talk about. Um, a lot of this technology is military grade, so it's mostly classified and it's it's very it's not common. It's not it's not something that you can probably easily find or buy over the counter. And uh, most of society is unaware that this sort of technology actually exists. And when you do try and explain to somebody, it, it just sounds a little bit too advanced and a little bit like almost like 50 years ahead of our time. And um, even most victims who suffer this sort of thing daily, on a daily basis, they still don't have the details. They only have the symptoms. They only know that they're feeling pain. And um, those who actually know uh, will deny that this exists, will deny that there's such a thing as voice to skull or there's such a thing as you know, um, you know, gang stalking. It's all an illusion that the victims have. So voice to skull um, simply means that you're beaming realistic 3D sounds into the victim's head. This could be anything, anything that you can think of. It could be people's voices. It could be sounds of um, you know, appliances or sounds of cars passing by or any kind of song. So as long as you're beaming uh, sounds from a distance and um, it sounds like it's you know, so realistic that it's very difficult for a person who's subjected to voice to skull to tell the difference between what's real and what's, what's sort of beamed into them. Um, Another thing is that it's, voice to skull is able to record the surroundings. So if there are people talking, it records their voice and plays them back. And um, you know, there comes a bit of confusion. Like when you're in the street, you're thinking people are actually talking behind your back, but it's it's they're actually not there. So the, if you can think of a lot of the sophisticated stuff you can do with sound, like you know, uh, modulate a sound and play somebody else's sound and 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 make it sound you know as if <laughs> as if it's them. Um, voice to skull is usually deliberately made to sabotage a person's uh, you know, mental thinking or their you know, mindset or, or well-being. So it's made to deliberately mimic a mental illness such as schizophrenia. So the victim would be constantly hearing these sounds like 24 hours a day and it's it's very difficult to turn off. Um, and it's, you know, most people that try and come out and say, I'm hearing voices in my head all the time, they immediately put, put a label on top of them saying you're suffering from a mental illness. Uh, remote uh, remote neural, neural monitoring. Um, perpetrators have got access to the so, uh, central nervous system. They can do this because the brain has got a natural frequency that it sort of beams out. Um, and by tapping into this natural frequency, um, it's very easy to convert uh, this into useful information. For instance, um, they can see what the victim is seeing. So the victim's eyes has, act almost as a camera and they can likewise hear what they're hearing. Uh, so the victim's sort of it's almost like the victim's ears are almost like a microphone recording everything. Um, it's not only just seeing and, 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 and sounds and vision, but it's also thinking patterns. So it's actually a very sophisticated piece of technology that can um, pretty much equate to mind reading. I can read your mind. I can, I, can, you know, I can see what the victim is seeing. I can see what they're thinking. I can see. I can, I've got access to their memories, even their memories and stuff they did 10 years ago. Directed energy weapons. Um, this is a, a weapon um, using microwave energy or you know, all kinds of different energy or uh, frequencies, physically inducing a pain, um, typically attacking the vital organs such as a kidney and um, even the eyes. Some victims complain that their eyes are tired. All kinds of pain that you can think of, fatigue. Um, you know, all kinds of you know, all kinds of different attacks. And um, sometimes perpetrators actually use this to deliberately cause an illness, such as cancer or any other kind of, you know, um, uh, lethal or killing disease. Um, so the complete picture coupled with sort of gang stalking actually looks something like this. Um, voice to skull, basically you hear voices 24 hours, 365 days a week. 
365 days a year and you can't turn it off so it's as if as though the victim is crazy and with remote neural monitoring um victim has effect effectively become a gps in a video it's almost like somebody put a chip or some something inside of you um where there's also a bit of mind reading and um i mean it works together with gang stalking i mean ultimately the goal is to destroy the person the victim's life so mentally they will be destroyed i mean if you're not getting any kind of break if you're not getting rest if you know you don't have any kind of money uh because of gang stalking you don't have a job your finances are, are depleted and everyday life is just hell and you always in constant physical pain um effectively your entire life is disrupted and uh, most victims might actually even think of committing suicide i mean that might be the only option so the whole aim of gang stalking with together with these three bits of technology is just completely to destroy your life and um unfortunately the victim cannot escape i mean running to a different country or running to a different uh, continent altogether doesn't seem to solve the problem it's military grade technology it's so sophisticated it's advanced it works across satellites um the victim is completely hacked uh, their thoughts and feelings are read and they're manipulated and uh, the perpetrator can always anticipate the next move when you're typing out an email trying to apply for a job or trying to call call out for help they can miss <laughs> miss direct that phone call or miss direct that whatever it is that you're doing so um yeah the technology used for for gang stalking and electronic harassment um definitely it, it is it it's just aims to destroy your life and kill you completely